What's going on guys? God bless you, Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Happy Tuesday, by the way. Um, we are on our way uh, to do a Ford Lightning. We're gonna be doing a interior detail on this one. Um, we'll definitely see what we get into. It's not that bad. I really wanna talk a little bit about pricing, products we're gonna be using today. And, um, and we'll see what else. Uh, today, I actually, um, I'm doing a ride along with a longtime friend. We've been friends literally since junior high, uh, high school, uh, and since then, you know, it's been a good couple of years, and you know, I'm blessed to, uh, you know, still be able to talk to him. You know, there's times that he goes missing, you know, and I hope he's okay, right? And then he'll pop up again, um, and I'm like, yes, he's alive, right? But he uh, recently, you know, I think. Uh, he wants to get into the interior detailing game or into detailing itself and you know he was like hey can I ride with you um, and I was like yeah dude so I'm excited one we get to just kind of catch up on life as always two I get to work along with him he gets to see a little bit of truly what I do daily right um, and he gets to experience some of this Texas heat right because um, <laughs> I don't think he's ever been outside <laughs> in this kind of weather so it should be pretty fun um i'll probably bring him along here later on you guys will see a little bit of him on the camera um but anyways let's get to our destination and once we get there guys we'll get ready and we'll talk a little bit of how this truck looks all right guys we have arrived to location uh we are obviously the next clip you're about to see is a little bit on uh how it looks uh you'll see me using a little bit of obviously the product choice um, and then uh, we'll, we'll come back with the afters. Um, really, this truck, um, I'm happy the way it came out, but I also have to understand that this vehicle will, was purchased pre-owned, and there's a lot of factors into this one that is just, you know, there is areas that I'm not happy with as a detailer just because of the time frame. This thing has never really been touched, um, and we'll go, we'll get into that in the video as well. Um, but anyways, enjoy these next few clips of the process, um, and then we'll be back with the after. So step number one is always going to be blowing the interior. So I wanted Razul to kind of get comfortable with using the air compressor. I'm using the rigid 4.5 gallon and I love this one because it gives me 4.5 CFM which is the required amount usually for using an air tool. Um, and as well, you know, it doesn't decrease um, the airflow. You're about to see that really this interior plastic dashboard is really in good condition. Our main concern really in today's project is these seats and this carpet. And if you can see this carpet right now, it looks very dirty. There's some heavy stains all the way around. Um, so we're hoping for a better outcome. Next, we are going to be using the Flex Citrus, which is has been my favorite one and we're also going to be adding some flex fire for this interior um long story short i never read the instructions where it says flex fire needs to be used with or paired with flex citrus so i've been doing it all along all wrong all along um so usually about a full scoop of this and on this um there's a line and just fill it up to that line and then just dump it in and then shake it very well and that is pretty much it 
Once it was all finished cleaning all the, um, pretty much like his interior, blowing all the interior, vacuuming, uh, I want to go ahead and start the pre-spray. And what you're seeing me here do now is apply that pre-spray and followed by uh, the agitating. And as you guys can see, this carpet is looking really good. And then we go and agitate or pre-spray the mats. And these mats were really dirty. Um, but they turned out pretty well once we finished it at the end of the day. All right, we are finally done, guys. Um, overall, this took us about a good two hours for the whole process from beginning to end. Um, this is a Ford, <coughs> Ford Lightning um, vehicle was purchased, as I said at the beginning of the video. Uh, it's pre-owned. There's a lot of shedding off of the materials. Uh, that just means that the upholstery is already, it's trashed, it's done. Um, so it was like the more you scrub, the more the material was shedding um, and that's just a sign for me to kind of back off we just agitated as much as we could without really deteriorating or kind of um, giving the upholstery like a reaction right um, because the more you scrub on these literally the more the fibers were flying everywhere so there's a point where you have to stop right and as a detailer we always want perfection unfortunately there's jobs that I just don't even like the way it came out um, overall I mean really this thing came out much better uh, I'll flip the camera around so you guys can see a little bit of the afters I'll explain to you a little bit of where I'm not happy um, and you know what's the outcome of this later so overall my buddy Razul did pretty much a lot of this vehicle he wanted to learn um, obviously the 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 steps of detailing right so he he agitated all the door panels uh, we dressed them as well <coughs> with drive auto appearance Lux cockpit conditioner the interior definitely looks much better guys um, a lot of the resoiling is coming back literally we have extracted and extracted this water came out black uh, the carpet definitely changed color. It was real brownish, um, but it got color, guys. So this one is just one of them, as I explained, obviously, to the customer. Hey, just know that there is going to be some staining that comes back, you know. And I service this car. Well, I see it every about every week. So I'm always going to be following up with the stains because they're bothering me. Um, but the best route, to be honest, on this vehicle is just reupholstering the seats getting new seats whatever the case may be because these are just they're hammered guys look at this this is just a lot of time frame where they've been just you know it's just been sitting um the son most likely has baked these seats a lot before he he bought it whoever had it just really was not maintaining it um but overall i mean it looks way better but as a detailer i'm just like you know it just it bothers me but like I said, I'll be seeing this car literally every week uh, for my customer again. Um, you know, so I'm always going to be following up. On the exterior, we just use uh, Washcams Pro 50. 
Uh, we did six ounces of that product, spray it, let it do its thing, and then we pressure washed it off, and there you go. Uh, the wheels we used, uh, Drive Auto Appearance, uh, their tire dressing, I forgot the name of it. Um, but overall, I mean, it turned out really, really well. And obviously, we combined uh, Flex Fire with Flex Citrus in tandem uh, in the pump sprayer, as you guys saw. Uh, and definitely, I love the way that it performed with those two. I felt like it was really giving me everything. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I know it wasn't a long one, very short. Um, but I just wanted to really keep it short on this video for you guys. Um, again, God bless you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.